Malala Yousafzai and Kailash Satyarthi share this year's Nobel Peace Prize for their fight for children's rights to education and freedom. We are going to conduct a secret uh, raid. We have got some complaints from um, some sources that a um, lot of children have been trafficked from different places and working in an area in some small scale factories. For Kailash Satyarthi, it has meant years of battle in the fields, villages and back streets of India, rescuing children from child labor and bondage, and on the world stage, pressing the case for global action. In 1998, Kailash Satyarthi led the global march against child labor to the grounds of the International Labor Organization. A year later, an international treaty was signed committing the world to eliminate the worst forms of child labor as a matter of urgency. When I started my fight against child labor, nobody was prepared to listen. I have to go to the villages, talk to the people, talk to the government officials, and they assume that it's a part of life, it is nothing new. Children have to work because they are poor. And that was the case in many countries, most countries, I would say. Progress has been made, but the number of children in child labor stands at 168 million. That's nearly one out of every 10 children, a number that would equal the eighth most populous country in the world. Today, I underline, no country, no society, no business can ignore the menace of child labor. It's an issue which has to be dealt with the sense of emergency.